Hi guys, I'm Dennis. I'm a driving instructor in Moncton, New Brunswick. Uh, this is where uh, they would help hold your parallel parking test. Uh, it's just cones. So basically you are required on the test to perform parallel park. Uh, the cones cannot be hit during the test so I'm going to see if I can teach you how to parallel park. The first thing that you got to do when you pull up to the parking spot, you have to think of this as a regular parking spot on the street somewhere with cars behind you. So very first thing that you got to do is turn on your indicator because you are parking to the right so then you pull up to the spot now you look at the spot that you're about to parking park in so what you gotta do is you gotta look at the spot and see if it is big enough for your vehicle it should be one and a half times the length of your vehicle approximately so this spot is actually really big. It's actually a very big spot for parallel parking. So then what you do, you pull up to the spot. Uh, you pull up to the vehicle uh, at the front. And what you gotta do, you're looking for the cone that represents the rear left tail light. You're looking for that cone to be at the very back of the window in the rear. When you have it there, that basically represents um, your, your right rear tire. So that right rear tire, rear tire will not be able to hit that cone because it's, it's just not physically possible. So when you have it there, you look around yourself, you put yourself in reverse, fully turn the wheel to the right, then check over your shoulder, make sure there's no vehicles here. On the real streets, when you're doing this, people are impatient and sometimes they will go around you. So you make sure you check over the shoulder. And then you watch this mirror, your left mirror. What you're watching for is the third cone it represents the right headlight right front headlight of the vehicle parked behind the spot that you're parking in so when you fully see it from top to bottom you can stop there you have fully seen the cone from bottom to top you make sure your wheel is straight and you back up until you see uh, that cone. When you see that about basically three quarters of the way, you fully turn your wheel to the left and then you just back in nice and slow, no gas, just nice and slow. And then once you fully see, once you fully see the cones uh, in the mirror from top to bottom on both sides, you put your vehicle in drive, straighten your wheel, mate, turn it a little bit to the right, not too much, and just pull forward. And once you have pulled forward, put yourself in park, make sure you put your parking brake. There's three types of parking brake. There's a button, which is what I have. There's a regular hand parking brake, and there's a foot parking brake, which are on vans and trucks. So once you have that, usually the examiner would say, oh, you did a good job, or do it again. You have three tries for this. Now to pull out of the parking spot, you would make sure to put yourself in reverse and then you would reverse a bit, you would indicate to the left and you would make sure to look
Don't be a shoulder. Pull up. That's how you perform the parallel parking. Once you have that done, they usually will take you on to the rest of the test. I hope you guys learned how to perform the parallel parking.